Apocalypse. What's up, guys? Oda King Live coming at you again for another bitching episode. Now, if you follow my bitching episodes, I'm sorry I haven't made one in a while. I've still been angry. I mean, I'm, you know, still pretty pretty pissed off, but uh, for the most part, spring's coming, so I like the weather right now. Fuck the snow. So, today I'm just back to, you know, a little update. A little update on the bitching. So, as you know, I like to document struggles of the subscriber and views on a small YouTube channel. Now, I'm just watching this shit load up here. So, I'm at 98. We're talking two people away from that 100 that I've been going for forever now. Seems like every time I get a couple, I lose a couple. It's it's really kind of the way it's been. You know, gain five, lose three. Never really understood why. But I assume it's when I put a new video up, somebody sees it and goes, <sighs> the hell am I subscribed to this jerk for and unsubscribe and then um, you know someone sees the new video and goes well this guy looks like not a total nutcase and um, subscribe until the next video then they realize I am but uh, either way so I'm sending 98 now I did one of those uh, you know help push the small youtuber ahead uh, tweets Facebook posts, you know, put on my Xbox. Uh, it said I needed like three more subs to hit 100 to help me out. I got one. So, um, you know, thanks to that one person. You're a champ. To the other, uh, I don't know, 300 people on my feeds. Come on. What are you doing? Don't make me beg. But, so... You know what, I just wanted to bitch a little bit today about a few separate things on YouTube. Now, one thing that's always been scratching at the back of my head is one of the things about the adpocalypse here that uh, PewDiePie said. About, you know, the small channels, got less than a thousand subs, uh, you, don't, you don't make your pennies, right? Now, what he said, and this is just what pisses me off about large YouTubers, and I understand everyone's got to look out for themselves. Everyone's looking out for number one, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, he said there's only so many ads to go around. So that's probably why you don't see an ad on his video. Simply because they've ran out of ad, you know, ads for the run on YouTube for whatever ad it is. So, you know, that's why the bigger YouTubers were supporting that, not having ads on the smaller channels. Because why give them the ad revenue when they could have it? That's really all it is. That's, that's simply what it was. They want the money... Fuck this little guy. And I get it. It's the way the world works. Everybody wants to get paid. So, but it kind of pisses me off with huge YouTubers like PewDiePie like that. Like, motherfucker's already a millionaire. He should demonetize his entire fucking channel and do it for fun at this point. Um, you have 60 million subs. And I mean, another, another little bitch about PewDiePie. Even though I like him, don't get me wrong. But if you got 60 million subs, your video should get a little more than 5 million, you know, viewed. And I mean, that's kind of the, the high. I mean, they usually get about three. So where's the other, you know, 55 million people? 55 million people. Oh, it's done. Anyways, um, I know it's on a lot of channels, and that's kind of the way it is. It's like, what, you, your subscriber to views is usually about one-fifth to one-tenth. So you got 100,000 subscribers, usually you'll get 10,000 views type of thing. Which is bizarre. Um, I honestly think YouTube should wipe out inactive accounts. Um, and I mean even with channels themselves. Like, you know, say some 10 year old made a channel five years ago, uploaded one video of themselves, you know, dancing against a wall uh, for 10 seconds and then never went back to the channel again. We wipe those out. Like, we really don't need inactive accounts that don't have anything on them. Especially all the duplicate accounts. Like, PewDiePie himself, there's like 5,000 other PewDiePie channels that uh, all mimic him or, you know, try to re-upload his crap. 
anything like that. Um, just wipe them all out. Like, if they're not a legit channel, there's no active, you know, no active anything on it for years. Whew, wipe them out. Uh, God knows in Diablo 2, I didn't play for three months and my characters got wiped. Whew, still pretty mad about that. But anyways, uh, lately I've noticed a lot of YouTubers quitting their day jobs for YouTube. And is the apocalypse not a thing anymore? Like, what's going on? Uh, you know, one of the YouTubers uh, was, you know, he's... He gets, you know, fair views. I mean, 50,000 maybe a video as a high, 20,000 as a low. But still, in, was I not mistaken that about a thousand views is about a dollar in this day and age? Uh, especially with the apocalypse going on. So, if we're talking, even when we're talking on the high of 50,000 views, that's $50 a day. Now, if he does videos daily, I mean, 50 bucks a day, I guess, might get you through. Uh, maybe. Um... I, that'd be tight. Um, I mean, at my day job, I make at least $100 a day. So, you know, more, 150 give or take. So, I don't know. I don't understand how some of these YouTubers are doing it. There's another YouTube crew that, you know, they only make a couple videos a month. And they only get really, like, 100,000 views. So, that's like $100, is it not? Even if you went high and said $200, there's still multiple people involved. There's... A couple people that run the show, that there's the cameraman, etc. Um, and if you're only doing two or three videos, you know, two to four videos a month, isn't that only like maybe $500? Uh, <laughs> uh, and these again are adults, I mean, and they're building a studio and everything else. And I mean, all the power to them. And you know, I, I, I love these guys and I really hope they, they make it and they can do well. But I just don't understand where their money is coming from. Now, maybe they're getting rack loads through Patreon and things like that. I can understand. But I don't know. If I wasn't making thousands of dollars on e on YouTube, I wouldn't be quitting my day job or, you know, doing any more unnecessary money spending than I need. Uh, for my big 98 subs, I've already spent like $1,000 on camera equipment, lights, and everything else. And, um, you know, whatever. So... Either way, that's just kind of a piss off because I don't understand where some of these guys are, I don't know, coming from. And and it's just confusing me right now. And another thing that's been pissing me off is these, and I get it, people want your channel to be awesome. You gotta be super entertaining. You gotta be super fucking flashy. You know, effects, boom, tsh, boom, you know. But an average person, especially a small YouTuber, uh, I don't really got four hours a day to edit my videos. Um... You know, I work all day, I have a family. I notice a lot of YouTubers appear to be single. They certainly don't have kids. Um, and the ones that usually do have someone to do that for them. So, it must be nice. Uh, us smaller YouTubers, especially family people, just we just don't have the time to, get, to do all this. At least not at this level. And, you know, people are like, Oh, well, your videos... Your video's not as, not as good looking as Poopy Pies, and it's like, yeah, well, he makes a million dollars plus a year. I make negative thousand dollars I spend on camera stuff. Like, when I maybe make a couple bucks, I can look into doing some serious edits. Until then, um, yeah. And that's one of the problems with the smaller channels, and I see it a lot. Uh, even even medium-sized channels, you know, 20,000 to 50,000 subscribers don't really do a lot of edits, a lot of effects, things like that, because they still work a day job, they have a family, everything else. Get over backs, all right? Like, I get that the big channels can do all this stuff, but we're, we're, we're a little in, under the bus on that. So, you know, I apologize. Uh, five, ten years ago, you know, it didn't really exist, and all YouTubers were just like, just like this, like, blah, 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 blah. And, and giant, like, um, story time channels, they don't do shit either, and they get the views. Arr, fuck them. But anyways, uh, that was one, another one of the little things I wanted to bitch about. So, what I've been doing a lot lately, uh, is just a little update, is I've really been plugging away on things like Twitter, Facebook, uh, really, uh, Trying to engage with other YouTube, smaller YouTubers. Um, I was even pretty coming in pretty good with a bigger guy, some one of the bigger guys, but they had just vanished apparently. Um, so that sucks. I've even tweeted at them a few times saying, "What's up? You know, you guys okay?" And I haven't heard back. 
But uh, so, you know, I'm just doing a lot of plugging, a lot of uh, social connecting and uh, trying to get, you know, just trying to shake some hands and uh, be friendly with people and trying to hit that 100 subs. So, um, you know, and then uh, another thing I thought about doing was, uh, and, you know, a lot of channels don't like self-promotion. You can't go on a thing and say, hey, check out my video. They'll just delete it, right? Because they're like, no self-promotion, dickhead. So, um... I've been thinking about going on sites and going, check out this funny video I found, wink, 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 wink. And um, maybe getting some views that way. Because I know uh, for some of my adult shit, they're going to be like, what is this shit, right? So, I don't know, I'm even thinking about making a different channel and putting all my adult humor stuff on there. Because I think, I think I might have been sucked into a little bit of Elsa Gate here. Because I do, um, if you're familiar with my adult stuff, I do a lot of... Uh, questionable things with plushies um and uh, figures so i'm afraid you know I'm, I'm probably too small so it doesn't really matter i'm sure youtube doesn't give a shit what i do but um eventually i might get some elsa gate backlash and they'll be like oh my god look at look at these gross things this guy does with 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 finn the jake action figures and um and then my channel's blacklisted and no one sees my stuff anymore. But um, some of my videos are doing alright in that regard because, uh, you know, there's other sick bastards like me out there that want to that wanna see weird My Little Pony things. And um, <laughs> I don't know, I'm a little worried about getting blacklisted for it though. Uh, but hey, why not? Let's, let's keep her going. It's, uh, I like that kind of bizarre humor and... I'm sure other people do too. So, um, last thing I wanted to really bitch about was uh, merch. I've been noticed a lot of channels doing merch. I mean, even st stupid ass channels like tech channels. Like, I'll teach you how to use YouTube. Buy my I teach YouTube trick shirt. Like, what? I don't sh fuck off with your shit shirt. Um, but there's one one small channel that I'm uh, you know, you know, we're I guess friends sort of I don't know we're Twitter buddies and uh, he does he does video gaming shirts but just like vague shirts kind of like you know Atari age things like that just with simple graphics and stuff nothing to do with his channel just simple Atari type graphics and things like that and he's been you know producing them and selling them and I like that because it's not like oh look at my name right across the chest like you know I don't really give a shit about that but I do like you know, Atari type stuff. I like, you know, gaming type related clothing items. And I think that is a smart idea. It's something that I can buy and not look like a total meathead walking around in. Um, so I thought I'd just give a little, little chirp out to, to a good merch, merch building like I like. And then, uh, and then like always, you know, I, I'm sure a lot of, uh, you know, other YouTubers don't care for me too much because of how much I smash on e-begging, uh, Patreon and shit like that. But, um, hey, whatever. Everyone's different, right? Everyone's got to have their own opinion on shit. Who cares? And, uh, anyway, that's about it. I just wanted to do a small little bitch video that actually ended up being a lot longer than I thought. I apologize. And, um, just, uh, talk some shit about stuff. So, uh, I'm gonna get this up, and then there'll probably be another YouTube chat. I want to talk about some, uh, some people like Leafy is here and stuff like that. And, um, go from there. So, uh, hey, if you, uh, you know, want to bitch about shit, leave a bitch comment below. You know, whatever. Leave a like if you, uh, whatever, I don't care. And, um, I'll see you next time. Peace.